Hi guys, good morning. Thanks so much for joining me again on this video. I am going to be doing something completely different today. And I want your opinion. I want to see how you guys feel about it. Um, I want to show you I did the draw it. And then I did the workable, the workable fix. So the painting would just go on top of it and not mix with the, with, um, the drawing, the charcoal. But today I want to talk about something. Uh, let me go over the colors first. Uh, like you saw, titanium white, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange that I have been using, um, cadmium red. I think I used the turmeric blue. No, I didn't. That's ivory black. So that's the only the color that I use for all this uh, painting. But um, today I want to try something different with you all. And I want to see how you guys feel about it. Let me know what you guys think. I was watching my videos the other day. And um, I put the music on them. I learned how to do this, guys. I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm sharing everything with you all. So I uh, hang in there. I'm working on it. Um, but what I did was I, I've been using this program to do voiceover, to do put music and to change stuff and speed things up because you know that painting there alone took about I don't know three hours, two hours. And I'm gonna make it in uh, eleven minutes. So let me move to another place because you guys can hear the dog barking. Sorry about the dog guys. So anyway, so what I'm gonna be interested in doing is doing a voice over the video when I do the oil paint, because this way you guys don't have to watch a video for an hour. So say in the comments below what you guys think about that, because I think that would be cool. You can, you get to see the video and uh, you don't have to watch into the whole slow motion because it takes a long time to do oil paint or any painting like that. So let me know what you guys think about that because I'm, I'm thinking that, I don't know, I just, I was watching the video and, I, and then I was listening to the music. Yeah, it's fun, but I just kind of like want to get to know you all and uh, share everything with you all too. So I figured that would be better. We can talk about different topics and um and um we can share different experiences and then i'm gonna be reading all the comments and if you have any questions i will be answering them as well so what i was thinking number one thing was um that i want to talk about it today and that's on the title because i'm gonna be putting on a title is about back pain i for anybody that does painting they probably have the same issues as i do with suffering from back pain it's very, very hard to be sitting for a session for an hour, two hours, three hours. So, um, I want to talk about what ha just happened to me this past week. I've been suffering from uh, back pain for the last, since 2015. So, for the last almost eight years now. And... Um, and I didn't even think about how that, that would be possible to fix it. So every time I do painting and I sit for a long time at night or early morning, I my back burns. It's like so painful. And uh, talking to my daughter, she talked me into going to see the doctor. And I went to uh, to a doctor and they fixed it. They gave me a shot on the, on the back. And the pain is gone. Knock on wood. Thank God. So anyway, so if you are doing painting and you are struggling with back pain, go see your doctor. You know, don't wait like I did and uh, and suffer for so long. Just find some solution. Um, another thing that I found too, my easel. I have a stand-up easel. And I have that little easel that you guys see right now. That little easel, since I am learning oil painting and it's uh, not an easy thing, but it's, you know, I'm not talented. I have a, a will, pretty much that's what it, it is. I have not given up on learning and I am learning, learning every single day a little bit. 
So, well, not every day, but whenever I have any time, I put time on my schedule for specifically for that. So that's, I think it's the, the goal. It's not giving up. I know sometimes, you know, people can be very judgmental and uh, it can be very depressing. But, you know, I think when you want something bad enough, you need to go get it. It's uh, hard as it is. It's hard to make time because, you know, we all have to work. We all have a life, kids, grandkids in my case. And um, there's not enough hours in a day for all our dreams. But at the same time, I think that we need to try to get it. You know, even if it's hard. I I still have my first painting. Oh boy, and that was terrible. And um, I can see my improvement. I think you guys probably can see it too because I'm starting to do videos and that's the goal, to do video with you all. And, uh, you know, if one of you wants to have a dream of uh, learning to paint, let's do this together, you know, buy a couple of paints. You don't need many. You literally only need the four primary colors. And I think I have a video in the channel about that. You don't need much. You need a, a book. Uh, you don't even need a canvas. You can start like I have right now. Uh, what I'm using right now is just a, a little book. And uh, that makes it a, a great place to practice. On this particular one, uh, now I started doing with something that I learned too. I put a um, coat of gesso on the page. This way, it's a little bit better for the page. I should do like two or three coats of gesso, but I figure, you know, I'm just learning. I don't care that the, the oil goes through. I'm not concerned about that because this is for me to practice mixing colors and and blind and um, combine them and try to see if I can, you know, see the light and the dark see the the how to put them together do the first um but anyway so it is a lot hold on i had to take another call it's so crazy as soon as you pick up the video to start doing your video or your voice over the phone start ringing isn't that funny how it's always like that but um anyway so i'm i'm over here watching the that's a weird bird i'm watching the um, lake uh one of these days i'm gonna do a video and show you guys the lake it's so pretty and um and talking to you all but this is how i want to do from now on so i'm gonna be doing the painting taking my time and not try and try to concentrate because it's very difficult to talk at the same time as when you're trying to paint. Uh, when I do the acrylic pour is different because the acrylic pour, you don't have to, to, you don't need too much concentration, but to do the painting, the oil painting, or even when I do acrylic painting, you do need to have a lot of concentration so that I don't mess up. It's um, when you're learning something, it's difficult. It's not, especially if, you, if it's like me, you know, I'm older and um, I have never tried this before. I always want it. My, it's been one of my dream, my life dream. And that's why I want you all to know, you know, because if you also have a dream of learning how to paint or doing anything, don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams work on it and get it because sometimes we have to just go out and try get out of our comfort zone and get it done it's is it's not easy it's definitely not easy but it's doable i i'm still learning i'm still learning how to even hold the brush i'm learning how to do the mixing of the painting i find it's easier to mix the paint before i start doing it so I'm still not sure if that is the best way. So if you think, let me know how you guys do it. You know, in the comment below, do you mix your paint before you start painting? Or do you mix with the brush as you go? I just find that I, when I mix with my brush, it gets so like too much paint on my brush and it makes a big mess. But how do you guys do? Let me know. I want to hear about you. I want to hear 
how you learn. Tell me your life story. How did you do? How did you learn? How old were you? And um, was it hard? Was it easy? Are you born with a gift of uh, talent? Or are you like me, insist and, and practice and try? I feel like I have come a long way, but I got a long way to go. But you never give up. You keep on plugging, you keep on trying, and um, you just do the best you can. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, share. Let's do this journey together. Let's share our experience and let's try our best and let's be friend. So be kind to one another and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will be talking to you very soon. You take care. Bye-bye.